the project is these uh, roller wheels to drill the center out and as you can see just drill it right on up in this was a piece of cord gar light material it's a resin impregnated uh, cloth similar to what would have been original I need that to be a little bit deeper so and a good cleanup pass you see what we got there now we have the center to match the roller part and to remove that take that away just line that up slide that off you, you've got all of the working area you need and I do have the cutoff tool mounted on the back lathe tool mounted on the front the grade of gar light that I'm using it's the rigid type high impact gar light not to get too technical but I will explain the part we're making is this part right here that's shaded the lip on it right here is 50 thousandths thick it's 312 thousandths diameter the part that the roller rolls on the dimension I came up with is like two, 206,000. The length of that roller bearing part is 405 thousandths. The length of the protrusion that goes into the brass governor arm, 437 and a half thousandths. The diameter of that part I came up with 145 thousandths. The way that I came up with this diameter right here is I used a number 26 drill bit to clean up after I removed the pins and the ones that I'm removing are in this condition here. Uh, very rusty, the roller's gone, uh, just they're just absolutely no good. The way I came up with that size is the number 26 drill bit was a cleanup. That was a cleanup drill bit for that hole to make it perfectly straight and true. That size. So I just turned this protrusion here a couple of thousandths less so that when I put this part, the, ro the pin and the roller, goes like this and when I put that in there it's a good tight fit and then I'll take a it's not a blunt but it's not a long taper on the chisel and uh, on the punch and uh, open that up the way I got that hole in yonder is a number two center drill and while it was in the lathe we're going we're going to go through this whole thing but in order to get that hole in the end, that's just a center drill uh, taper. And it would go back in there. And I did just ever so lightly countersink the back side of that hole so that when that goes in there and I punch that, it will be a very tight fit. As good as original. And without the roller, the pin, you see it goes in and bottoms out against that housing. So you, you, you cannot get this wrong. And the roller, you make it a couple of thousand shorter than that, di than that length there, the 405. This would be like, say, 400 thousandths. And so it will, will, will not get tight on you. That, that's, a re that's really good. Another thing that I discovered... If I may point something out to you, uh, just several that I had saved up that, that needed to be repaired. And as I was removing those pins, I noticed that 
I had several of them that wasn't straight. And if you put a, if you put a, uh, put the bottom part on the straight edge and put a drill bit in it where it's straight up and down exactly, put another drill bit in this hole over here. You see how, you see from down here how close that is and up here at the top how far away that is that proves that this short arm of this governor arm is bent those are supposed to be perfectly straight up and down to each other so i am going to have to bend this back this way until that's straight up and down uh, one that is uh, it, the way it should be is like this one you put that right there you put that right there and you put the drill bit in see that it's it's exactly the same size here as it is up here the distance so this one right here is in perfect alignment it being obvious that that is bent and what happens when that's in service and that's moving like this right here then this this roller pin is at an angle so it's a putting undue pressure on one side of your point opening blade so this does need to be perfect alignment with the flywheel the point system that's very important that that be in straight alignment another thing that I noticed this one being quite obvious is um, and this is the pop metal version the pin in in the housing is loose it's wobbly also the roller is a little bit large onto the pin now you can this is a factory one here you can if you have one like this you can tighten it up by putting the punch here it does take a special type punch set to put that little rollover right there it's worth your time to procure that Being old school as I am, I do like to run a, just to clean up, just to clean that little burr off of yonder. And somebody asked me about this tool there. They seen me using this in another video. Uh, all it is is just a countersink uh, bit, and I don't know wh what this is here is, but it does have a left and a right, probably an old-time screwdriver, I'm going to say. But you can lock it in there if you want to, or either you can put her in that gear right there. Works really good.